Nebraska's corn crop, meanwhile, slipped in the latest USDA condition ratings. It dropped four points in the best two categories of good to excellent and increased three points in poor to very poor categories. While some of that deterioration is likely from recent storm damage, some repercussions from hail and heavy rains areas of Nebraska experienced earlier in the season are now starting to show. UNL Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Sims joined us Wednesday afternoon near York to discuss some of the problems farmers might be seeing in those affected fields. Well, in the plant and pest diagnostic clinic, we're beginning to see several different bacterial diseases show up. And this is kind of what we predicted early on, and it's probably coming from fields that were hit by that first flush of hail and severe weather back, what, three weeks ago or so. Goss's wilt is one of them? Unfortunately, we are beginning to see some gosses wilt, and more alarmingly, the gosses wilt that we've seen so far is from plants that were infected very young, and those plants are becoming systemically infected, and some of them are actually dying prematurely. It's not terribly common yet, but there are some examples around the state. You touched on this, but why is the systemic part of it so important to note? Well, plants that become infected early, especially before the six leaf or V6 stage, have their growing point and all of their nodes still packed very tightly together at or below the soil line. If any one of those nodes becomes infected, all of them can become infected. And we talk about a rapid degradation of the plant and Goss's wilt. While there's nothing they can do now, what should producers do in the future for those fields? Well, in general, I hope that if they already have a history of Goss's wilt, which is where we're likely to see this, I hope they'll continue to select resistant hybrids. But with that said, even a good tolerant or resistant hybrid is still going to be sensitive to the systemic wilt phase of this disease. What other bacterial problems are in the state? Well, there's a variety of things going on right now. There's a few other bacterial diseases like the bacterial stalk rot. And people that are familiar with that one will recognize the odor more than anything because it is so, so stinky. Um, there's a few other things going on. We're just beginning to see a little bit of common smut develop, and, and that's common after hail events or other injury events, too. The bacterial stalk rot, would those be in areas that might have leached nitrogen? Well, or, or more likely areas where we've had ponding in fields okay. and uh, when we've had hot temperatures and a lot of water standing, we tend to see things like that. How much of a problem could that be later in the season? Well, any of these stalk rot diseases could cause lodging later in the season. Bacterial stalk rot tends to kill plants early in the season, but if we have any kind of stress like we are now, injury or ponding in fields, we need to watch the fields the rest of the season and be ready to prioritize harvest order in case stalk rots develop later. And how can producers know if they have some bacterial issues? Well, if they begin to see plants that are starting to wilt or become discolored, it'd be a good idea to go out and uh, to dig up or pluck a few of them up and go ahead and split those stems and stalks all the way down through the crown and look for discoloration, brown uh, lesions down around the roots and in that crown and uh, take a smell, see if it's kind of got that uh, rotting odor smell. That's a good indication that we can have some bacterial infections going on or even fungal. Has common smut been a problem so far for Nebraska producers? Well, you know, we see a little common smut every year and we don't usually worry about it, but it might surprise people to know that it will develop on the leaves and it looks quite a bit different. Instead of the characteristic mushroom-like galls that people are used to seeing on the ears and tassels and stalks, when it develops on the, on the leaves themselves, it might look more like warts or bumps. And so uh, that might surprise some people, but this is common smut and I wouldn't worry about it. In any of this field corn, seed corn, or sweet corn? Right now, there is uh, nothing showing up yet that we know we can treat. And so I'd hang out and watch and be patient and submit samples to the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic for diagnoses. Again, you can find information on submitting samples to UNL's Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic on our website. <music>